I'm Oliver Jeffers and we're in my studio in Brooklyn, New York. I grew up in Belfast in Northern Ireland. I make art. I make oil paintings, I make commercial illustrations, I make collage, and I suppose I'm best known for making picture books for children. I got into children's books kind of by mistake. Being from Northern Ireland, I've always been really interested in, in narrative and, and storytelling. A lot of my early art was mixing just words and pictures what would, and how they would change each other. And I was doing that for a long time until it occurred to me one day that what I was doing was from the meat and bones of picture books. I, I write them and illustrate them at the same time, and I mean that not by using both hands, although I wish I could do that. Um, I, I almost can't separate them in my brain. The pictures define the words and the words define the pictures. The first picture book I made was How to Catch a Star, and that's the one that happened almost by accident. It, it began life as a, a series of composition sketches, and I, I sort of put them in some sort of sequence, and really before I knew it, I was making a picture book. Though that was followed directly by Lost and Found, and the idea for that story came about from In Belfast Zoo, where this kid climbed into the penguin enclosure and managed to kidnap a baby penguin. The third book was The Incredible Book Eating Boy. That was an important jump for me to make because uh, there was this whole other illustration style that existed in my sketchbooks. Uh, the fourth one, uh, The Way Back Home, was a return to the boy character from the first two books. The fifth book that I made was called A Great Paper Caper. And that was, that was the first book that I made in New York. The, the Heart in the Bottle was actually an old story. This film is being made at the minute where uh, the main protagonist in the film is an aspiring children's bookmaker. And the director of the film contacted me asking me if I wanted to create the book that this character ultimately made. I read the manuscript and uh, the tone really reminded me of the heart in the bottle and so the first thing I did was went and found those original drawings that original manuscript brought it out and started working on it all over again five years later I have just finished making the art for it and it's going to be released sometime in 2010 okay I generally start with a sketchbook and start to record down all of the the different nuggets for ideas for this direction the story is going to go both in uh, drawing form and in writing form and then I begin to piece them all together into the, the final story. This is the, the first attempt at storyboarding so it's all very rough and uh, then once I have a vague idea of what is going to be in each page I start to visualize it like from the direction of the camera and I do a lot more detailed line art which then gets scanned in and they go on to the final layouts and then I take this I bring it over to my light box I take my paper and I know exactly what size the illustration needs to be and at that point I go to, to making the final one. Really I mix all different types of media together. An old book cover, and white pen, different types of paper with coloured pencil, acrylic paint, really whatever material the illustration calls for at that point. I keep writing children's books and I keep making children's books because uh, I, I still have them inside me. I've, uh, one is here. Uh, I've got, I think there's one around my elbow somewhere. I'm not sure. 